I'm Vinay Kumar and uh, I work at the University of Chicago uh, where I have been the chairman of the pathology department for the last 12 years. Pathology is really, uh, this is really, I call, tell people, this is the golden time for pathology. Because as I mentioned to you earlier, pathology and pathologists are concerned with discovering disease mechanisms. And on the basis of disease, once you know the disease mechanisms, then you have a way of making a rational therapy for, for them. Right now, the vast majority of human diseases are being treated sort of empirically without full understanding of disease mechanisms. I think things have changed the last 20, 25 years and they will keep on changing more rapidly in the future because of the, uh, because of the knowledge that we acquired about the human genome. And I think human genome, studying the human genome and the alteration in the genome that occur in, in, under various disease circumstances, particularly I think most, most initially in cancer, will then allow one to what is called make personalized therapy so all lung cancers are not the same even if though even the those that look under the microscope identical are genetically different and the goal of uh, clinical genomics will be to discern those differences and find out the uniqueness of the molecular changes that underlie an individual's cancer, not cancer as a group of diseases. And with that, I think it will be possible now, and is happening now, uh, what is called uh, uh, personalized therapies, in other words, not all cancer patients will need exactly the same treatment. Okay? I think that is one of the most exciting things that are happening in the field of medicine, and I think pathology is right in the center of that. And that is why I believe, you know, first of all, pathology will become exceedingly important as an education for physicians no matter what they're going to practice and the research that will occur by pathologists of course in conjunction with their clinical colleagues and basic science colleagues will lay the foundation for the new way we treat diseases. There are several publications that I have with Elsevier as you probably know uh, but I think that two of them are really the most significant ones. Uh, the major textbook of pathology called Robbins and Cotran Pathologic Basis of Disease. Uh, I have been associated with that from 1983, the third edition. We are almost getting ready to revise the ninth edition, and I have been the senior editor of that uh, uh, for the last two editions, the last 10 years or so. The other one, which is sort of called the baby Robbins uh, as compared to the big Robbins, is called Basic Pathology. And uh, we just finished a new edition of that. will come out in the middle of April. So those are two books that I am intimately involved in. And in both cases, I'm the senior editor of uh, those books right now. Now, I, I think that uh, I never started my career thinking that I will be a textbook author. Okay. Uh, and, you know, nobody can sort of pr predict that. But I enjoyed teaching, and Dr. Robbins, who was my chairman, realized that and then asked me to join him in editing those books in 1979, actually. Okay. Uh, I think that uh, these books are best known for focusing in depth on disease mechanisms and then correlating the disease mechanisms to the clinical features and correlating the causative agents to the disease mechanisms and to clinical features. And that sort of provides the rational basis of therapeutics, even the therapies as we know right now. So, so it's really pathology is sort of the, form, forms the foundation of the scientific practice of medicine. And I sort of uh, enjoy it very much because I'm a basic scientist on one side other side I'm a pathologist so I think I have a sort of a special ability to bring the power of basic science research into a clinical setting in the context of pathology and medicine.